Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Vanilla. Thank you. Um, hey guys, that, I think, I think we need to do better with the yellow text, you know what I mean? It's, guys, did somebody lean on the keyboard by accident and, and type that in or select some word, like autocomplete? Like, what is, that is, that, what does that mean? Oh, does that mean... Oh, does that mean that, uh, it's like the normal version, but it's not. It's the Java edition, the vanilla Java edition. Oh, vanilla Java. Okay. Well, I stand corrected, guys. I'll, I'll take that one. All right, look, guys, I got something really tragic to talk about. All right, look, cause this, per I just want to get it out of the way. Look, Aunt Pat, all right, we know about your extramarital affair. Okay. Okay, Jesus told me about it. And look, that has a lot to do with the fact that you weren't really chosen to be the ringleader of this. I'm not, I don't want to be, but if I have to be, I'll do it. That's what I'm That's what I'm trying to say out there. But I feel like my Aunt Pat and my mom want to do it. You know, and I, I just, look, I, 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 here's the thing. This is what I said about Pete. It, it's like, when you want to do, this is Adam Carolla's thought. This Silly llama swimming in my pool, sir. You need a permit. <laughs> the tow truck comes and runs him over. Like, why? I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay, so, uh, so on Pat, I'm sorry. Um, so <laughs> I'm Pat, I'm sorry. I know she, my aunt Pat's only one not laughing. I know, I'm sorry. But, Aunt Pat, I love you so much. And, you know, I just want to say thank you for all the Christmas gifts, guys. Like, she was just always... You guys, in my, even in my 30s, my, my Aunt Pat still gives me money. And let's see how this looks, Aunt Pat. What do you think? A, a pink fence? I don't know. Around flowers? Is that is that neat or what, Aunt Pat? See, Aunt Pat loves this stuff. Okay, so... Look. I don't know, look at that, it's all sectioned off, I know, and it's asymmetrical. Guys, is your mind blown? Yes, it is. I, I'm going to answer that for you. It is, Jeff. Nice. Okay. Now, um, I, guys, we're going crazy. Is this, I'm going to turn this into a Barbie house real fast. Let's, let's cool it with the pink, okay? Let's choose something else. Um, okay, so, I'm Pat, look. Okay, this is embarrassing for you, but okay, have you heard the stuff I said on this thing? Okay, look, all right, uh, we, uh, it's fine, okay? I know Uncle Tom's probably going to be bummed out, okay, but you know what? Uncle Tom, again, did you hear about all my ex-girlfriends? Yeah, okay, all right, so it'll feel bad. I know you're not married to him. I know he's saying that. I know, but look, it's just, you'll get you'll get through it. My parents did. Um, now, now, Uncle Tom, that doesn't mean we retaliate, obviously. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, like any in any way. It's just we we work it out, whatever. We we go to Jesus. We go to uh, well, your your wife's grandmother or my great grandmother, Mary. Her her name, obviously. Okay, so we'll 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 work. It. She'll help you through it. I promise. This this kind of looks like a 1980s like mall decoration I'm, I'm actually I, we need a better color i like the fence but we need this pink thing it's a little too miami vice i know i said i liked it but i'm not gonna get any kind of acid wash jeans did you know that i bought a set a pair of acid wash jeans in like junior high i thought it looks cool why because i wanted to be the the guy from vice city tommy versetti that's why i bought them courtney's like hey you fag it's like courtney look I'm trying to. Hey, I'm uh, this. I'm this close to getting a Lamborghini, Courtney. Like I, I'm in the painting it yellow and then playing Mr. M of what is it? Duran Duran. I, what is it with the '80s and naming <laughs> things twice? It's yeah, Mr. Mr. Duran Duran, and then I think that's about it. So guys, that's not a pattern. Let's just move on, okay? Two exceptions, like okay, okay. All right. Um. Anyways, so uh, my aunt Pat, look, don't worry about it. 
Okay, Uncle Tom is gonna be bummed out. He'll be mad at you, but you know what? I will get over it. Like, I was mad at Denise for a little bit. Now I want to hang out with her. Why? Because I need a designer for something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> for this. Look at this atrocity. Denise, I need you. Like, so, I mean, so, again. Again. Uh, it's, we, we, we've all been through this stuff. It's, it's just, it's like, just, let's just stop. Let's just stop out there, okay? All right. Let's, please, uh, stop. Just, this needs to stop. You know that meme, guys, with the clock? And he's like, he's like, this needs to stop. I would play it right now. And I might, I might play the meme. Like, go find the clip and then bring it into my video. Because I'm not really doing anything in this Minecraft episode. I'm kind of bopping around really mainly what it is is trying to repair my childhood because this is a bummer right so it's so let this is what i do but i promise guys all this is almost over and then it, it'll be about making concrete and actually building the thing y you know what i mean and then i'll just talk about how audi you know gouges us you know with their parts and everything so like they will we'll do that stuff after all my family stuff has been taken care of you know what i mean all right and then we'll realize everyone's a monkey and or an evolved ape, and you know what? It just who cares? All right, let's just let's just just be thankful you're not that llama who can't figure out how to walk out of the pool. Okay, you're a human. Okay, just look. Here's here's the thing, and then there's a sheep again. Uh, okay, pivoting on a fixed position again, there, buddy. You don't have inertia. Why? You're supposed to. All right, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go swimming. Okay, guys, so what's up? And then another miraculous feat from a black sheep. He is he he's ascending and descending as if he has no mass. Again, this is unreal. And walking on top of water. This is... What is this? This game was made in 2011. And it looks like... No, this game is actually awesome. I'm not going to make fun of it. But it does look like... It's like a retro game. South Park was saying that, right? I love I love Minecraft. Guys, this is like a technological feat to me. Because how... how I want to know. And I'm, I'm sure the answer's out there. But I want to know. How just th the biggest Minecraft map, like who's, who has, who has expanded? I know we're all going, oh no, just that rabbit hole alone. I know like the big, wh where, cause guys, people make computers inside my, like calculators and digital displays and guys, it's like unreal. Like how about we add actual, actual electric components to minecraft like capacitors and resistors and stuff i mean wouldn't that be an awesome teaching tool and then we could basically like you know and then we could uh you know have kids learn on their own and they wouldn't have to pay for any schooling it's like you just do it in the game you just see how a capacitor works or a resistor or, you know what i mean that see that is that's what we do here like we gotta make learning fun and we got to make jesus fun and because he is fun he's the best and that's the answer guys all right again you see all these stars out there yes they're fake pixels right now but they, they represent stars and that's there's plenty of life out there guys believe it or not believe it or not i know howard stern is like you know i believe we're the only people howard are you kidding me it's just the odds are just odds are even if we are a mistake odds are there's another planet out there and and again we're asteroids with organic matter and uh you know uh you know spruce and maple and all the trees across there right all the seeds they come in and care packages from the universe right guys okay cuz i mean if it did <laughs> You know, because if it did, I'm just wondering why Mars looks like a rust bucket. You know what I mean? Like, where, what happened to all the... So all the organic matter just came to Earth magically. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Okay, whatever, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay there, Bill Nye, whatever. Uh, yeah, anyways. No, we love Bill Nye. Bill Nye's awesome. Bill, 
Let's get back to teaching kids about science. You're the best at it. Bill, your 90s. See, I'm here to I'm here to bring the 90s back, believe it or not. Uh yeah. So yeah, we got to get Bill Nye back on uh you know, no, no more debates, but we do. Let's let's teach kids about stuff and science and like okay. And Bill, I'm only saying that cuz you were really mean to Ken, you know what I mean? I just I was watching that. It hurt me. It hurt me and Ken was man, Ken Ham. Speaking of going ham, <laughs> Speaking of going ham, which I am currently not doing. All right, we're sightseeing right now, guys. Okay, and uh, we got to choose a higher position here. Let's get, let's climb up to that mountain. Let's go. Okay, and we're gonna carry. Let's see what do we have with us. We have fencing. Uh, we have a bunch of wood, stone. I mean, unbelievably impractical. We have rose bushes, guys. We're carrying with us. I mean, guys, we're talking realism here in Minecraft, but look, look, here's the thing is that I just want this to end and like, this, I don't know. I'm just having fun. No, can I, can I just tell you the truth, guys? I'm going to miss this because the second I'm in meetings again, like I know what's going to happen is this thing's going to break down and then we're going to have to go to meetings. Like, no, no meetings. I'm going to have to meet people at certain times and do team meetings and no, no. No more. I just want to do this. This is great. I'm having more fun than I've ever had at, at these past couple of days. You can tell, and you guys are angry, the, and, you, and you hate compost apparently. Hey, all right, I gotta breathe. I gotta. Okay, look. Oh, more float. Oh, it's a floating terrarium now. Oh, nice. Okay. What? I don't know. What's a terrarium, guys? Did I get that in the ballpark? Either way, this is unnatural. But anyways, so, so what I'm trying to say out there is. Okay, no, let's just get forgot. I forgot what I was talking about. So, you know, what? let's just skip ahead. I, here, Here's what I wanted to tell you guys. All right, this is something Jesus gave me. I was on a walk last night, and Jesus gave me the best idea I've ever had. Are you guys ready for this? This is the thing I was telling you about yesterday with the uh, the music. I'm like, I'm going to revolutionize music, guys. And, okay, okay, Jeff. How can that work? Okay, no, no, listen to me. Hold on. Dig this, guys. All right? So, we all know how, like, vinyl works, right? Like, vinyl records. Oh, you guys know exactly. You guys, each and every one of you are like, oh, Jeff, you you did it again. You you got ahead of us with this one. Now here, here, dig this, guys. Just listen to me. Yes, Jeff, we were listening. We're trying to, okay. Okay. So here's what it is. So, you know, vinyl records, right? What it is, basically, it's like etching. It's like basically a, a etching representation of the waveform, basically. So it's a continuous kind of up and down, and then what what the what the needle reads uh, is sort of the so that etching, and it goes up and down, and it's like a um, a continuous wave. So so what what vinyl has on digital audio is that it's a continuous wave, unlike digital audio that is sort of sampled at a, you know yes a very high rate but i mean it to me i it, to me i don't like that because it, you know going using analog to digital converters guys is like it no matter how good it is it never sounds the same ever it's it's like a different version of whatever it is I'm telling you, it, it it you go back and forth, back and forth, uh, you know, in and out, in and out with these IOs all, all over the place with the digital converters. It takes away it, again, no matter Lavery Blue. Look, that thing is great, but I mean, it's it it's a detriment. Of course, it's it's an it's it's something we don't. It, it's something that we doesn't need to be there, but unfortunately, it has to in our digital world. Because we we like analog equipment a little more, and I agree with it. It sounds way better, but the, we gotta work with our DAWs as well. So okay, we need this intermediary that kind of doesn't need to exist. So here's the solution. So so basically, let's do because the the beauty of CDs and digital audio, the CDs specifically, guys, is that. It's a super high rate, a kilobit rate. Yeah, don't even get me started on compression as far as like uh, 
digital audio. See, that's that's I mean, that's a whole nother ball game. Everyone's rolling their eyes. I know and it matters, guys. It, you, it's more degradation, unnecessary. You know, so it's so like, OK, so anyway, uh, so let's so but the beauty of CDs is the the not reliability, but the yeah, consistency. They're all they all sound identical. I, I feel like vinyl does not. You know what I'm saying? Vinyl, like it just it just doesn't it just doesn't represent the original tape very well that that it was recorded on. It's just it's just not there. Like why guys, why do you think we replicate the sound of vinyl, which is greatly diminished with these, you know, effects plugins and or not? You know what I mean? We do that. But it's not it's not a um you don't go to it. it like, I want to make things sound better. I don't want to make things sound worse on purpose, even though I do like lo-fi. So let me backtrack. I personally don't, when I'm working with rock stuff, I don't really like to mess with the lo-fi stuff. And But it doesn't matter. Oh, diving board. Wow, very unsafe. It's made out of dirt, and you were going to dive into more dirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go back. Anyways... Uh, so guys, dig this. Okay. So nice. And all right, you know what? Let's make this even nicer. Ready, guys? Hold up. Let's bring it all the way. 32, guys. Let's max it out. The comput computer is going to explode. All right. Nice. Okay. So, all righty. So, guys, but the again, right? So CDs reproduce no matter where it is. All right, as long as the CD player is reliable, it's it it works and it's exactly the way it was intended at at the factory, right? When 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 the guy printed it out of the off the mixing board, right? Okay. Cool. That's what we like about digital audio, the consistency of it. Yeah, and then with the internet, the the uh, you know, the distribute distribute ability of it uh, but it, yeah but the but the problem is is then we get guys like sean parker who did napster and right it's kind of a slimy way of making money it's sort of off other people's work they let like you if you, you know what i mean like I, I i don't download music anymore i mean i downloaded logic or try to because i bought the software and it, I, you, you guys won't allow me to download it again i have to pay 200 bucks again, Apple? Like, that's really annoying. This is why we got to buy our software, guys. The, the the actual box software, you know what I mean? Remember those good old days, guys, where you bought the freaking CD and brought it home? Say, I would have bought Logic Pro, but but uh, in, I would have had the box here. I could have installed it whenever I wanted. But Apple, with their store, uh, lost the, the, the fact that I bought Logic Pro. They lost that that association with my account. So now I have to pay for it again. You know what I mean? So, guys, can we just go back to box software? That's what I mean, guys. I'm here to bring back the 90s, okay? And 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 if we're going to do computers, it's sort of like we're going to do, the, again, what we did in the 90s, like one desktop per household. That's exactly what I have right now. One desktop, and it's this is the, this thing. I, I cracked all my other technology in half, uh, oddly, oddly enough. Uh, boy, was I mad. Okay, well... Anyways, so here we are with my single desktop, and all right, let's go to the village, guys. Yeah, let's go over to that village. Um, uh, uh, should we dive? Let's should dive into the. All right, let's 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 do it. Let's do it. Here it is. Nice. And I hit the dirt, but I'm okay. Wow, I didn't. No damage. No damage. You see, guys, you see that, right? You just saw that. Yeah, no damage. Okay, shouldn't have happened because I fell in. Four inches of water. Yeah, guys. This is what I mean with Minecraft. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I love this game. But anyways. So, what up? And so, anyways. I actually sounded like a cow when I said that. Look, guys. Cows are cool, man. I, you know what? Are we doing that orange peel thing yet? How's that going? With their eyes and getting the bugs out of there. All right. That's good, guys. The orange peel oil. Okay, I was about to call it orange peel juice, but don't drink it, guys. You're gonna it'll ruin your week. It, it tastes again. So that's what I mean. Like bugs will hate it too. Like it it tastes go ahead and try to taste orange peel oil. 
it, I'm telling you, you'll hate food for for the, a good couple of days. So I can only imagine what a what an insect how an insect reacts to it. I mean, that's why the whole point of it being there is to to you know uh, repel insects. So it's good. It's a good organic free um, repellent, and it'll be good for cows. We got to help them out, guys. All right. Anyways, so. Um, I don't, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I would say dilute it, you know, put it in some kind of spray bottle, you know, the orange peel oil, you know, and then spray the cow's eye right around the eye, not on the eye directly, but cover up the actual eye, but I don't know, man, I just don't want to see all these flies eating cow's eyes, it makes me sad, because they can't do anything about it, they just have to sit there, and it, it's, I don't know, all right, let's, 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 where were we going, the, the village, let's go to the village, okay, so anyway, so, See, I took damage for that, but it wasn't a... Okay, whatever. All right, so... Uh, uh, okay. Sorry about that. And now I'm lost. Now I'm in a... I'm in a ravine. Great. Okay, uh... Yeah, okay. All right, we have a torch here, guys, so don't worry. Yep. Okay, so... Hold on, let me get out of here. Okay, and lights on. Great, thank you. Um. Oh, nice. And by nice, I mean that looks frightening down there. Okay, so what, are, what is this, a mine shaft? Yikes. Okay, let's do it. And. Yeah. Okay. You know what? You know what, guys? We just gotta make sure, we just gotta make sure there's four inches of water down there and I think we'll be safe. <laughs> so... Eh, let's do it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, got hey Valve. Uh, talking to the game developer. Can we make a Portal Three? Uh oh, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, can we do that? Jeff S seven eight nine fell from a high place. Hey, uh, hey Casey Keating. Can I just say thank you for this name format? This is exact. I just stole this from you in like fifth grade. Okay, so I just got called out for this. Uh, so this is talking to Casey Keating. It, his his screen name on AOL Instant Messenger was KCK456. And I'm like, okay, I like that a lot, but I can't make it too obvious that I'm going to steal that from him. So I'll do Jeff S789. So you guys, you see what I'm talking about? Like, you just steal things, but you change it just a little bit. So Bill Burr doesn't get mad at you. You know what I mean? And then, it ba basically... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love everybody. Everyone's awesome. But Bill Bird does say that I do a great impression of him. And he's not wrong. I do. Okay, let's respawn. And, oh, nice. Uh, another opportunity to break my legs. Thank you, Minecraft. Okay. Uh, I'm at the top of a tree. Guys. All right, whatever. Microsoft. Okay, spying on us. Great. Uh, so, anyways. Um, what was I saying? What was it? Okay, so here's the, the best thing ever that's going to save the music industry. You guys ready? Here's what it is. So, we're going to get CDs. It'll be a CD looking thing, okay? But it'll have microscopic etching. As if it's a vinyl record. And guess what? The reading device is going to be a laser. And those little subtle, you know, changes in, in height equal a subtle change in amplitude on the uh, micro etching. It'll have that level of precision. I, we can use LiDAR for it, right? It, it would detect a different height at that. I mean, it's a, it'll be minuscule, minute changes uh, like as far as the the turnaround time for light but i it, we could maybe figure it out and i don't think we could, we would need to sample it we could actually just make it a continuous thing unless i don't know how a lidar works but guys if we can if we can figure out a way to make it as reliable as cd's and with the continuous waveform of uh of analog i i think this would be great I, I think so. You got you guys are being like Jeff. There no need. I mean, digital is good enough. Yeah, but what if digital circuitry isn't allowed anymore? 
that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I know CDs are fine now, but what if we're like my great grandmother saying like, gee, what if again, the solar flare uh, happens tomorrow, let's say, you know, and uh, all the silic silicon and all the chips out there are fried. Okay. And the stock market collapses and then nobody's able to check Twitter. What are people going to do? Let's just say that happens tomorrow. What do we do with the, with the with the only industry that matters? And that is the music industry. That's the only thing I'll be worried about when a solar flare happens. Oh, no. What's, what are we going to do with the music industry? And here's what we do. We we take the the analog aspect of a vinyl and then just do what we do with CDs, but with lasers. We don't need digital circuitry for that. You see what I'm saying? And then, you know, the the shock protection, I, you, right? That That's the, how the heck do we... Because we can't buffer anything. There's no memory, right? There's no digital memory to, to buffer. That's how the, the shock protection works. You know, like when you're playing a CD or something and you hit it. Like, it doesn't happen in cars. They, they Basically, they figured it out. But can we apply with this, right? How do you store a, a fluctuating waveform in a tempor as a temporary pattern? That, that it, as we can't really buffer it. Or could we? Or maybe we record it at a higher... Uh, hold on. Um, I'm sure... You know, I'll leave that for you guys. How to solve that problem. How to how to make it so that this new way of playing music is reliable and you can hit it or whatever, drop it. Like, you can drop a CD player. Like, they got pretty good at the shock protection. I mean, it was at the point, it was, like, it was, people were, like, flexing, like, in my fifth grade class, like, year 2000 or something, was where they're like, hey, man, Check out my CD player, and people would like these kids would be spiking it off the ground. It's like, hey, just be nice to it. Like, just like, like they're like everyone's trying to one up their shock protection. Yeah, but mine's got 25 seconds, and I would get all jealous, like, because mine only had 15 seconds of being able to have a boxing match with it without it skipping, you know? And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, Look, guys, the the I, this is what I mean. I'm trying to bring back the '90s. Okay, this is why I'm here. Okay, we're gonna bring back the old Nickelodeon. You know, like Doug and R Rugrats. Rugrats was a great show, and then Hey Arnold, man, guys. I, I hear a lot of you. I hear a lot of the girls are treating me like Helga treated Arnold, and then right, and then behind the scenes, they 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 have like. Like again, the the sideways football. Did I say this? I think I said this somewhere. But it's like, she has a he, she has like a shrine of Arnold in there in her closet. But she pretends that she hates him in in real life. And I'm thinking that, I'm thinking that this whole thing is where look this. It's kind of similar. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, ladies? You know, it's just you know, even the ladies. It's like the ladies that give me the hardest time. I feel like I have the the or. Yeah, it's, I feel like they, what, I don't know, I don't know, are going to be the most jealous of the girls that I talk to. That's the thing, I'm worried about it, but it's okay, guys. I'm not going to talk to anybody. How about that? How about that, guys? Can I just stay in my house and play Minecraft? I won't talk to anybody, okay? That's, like, I think I want to talk to women, but actually, I don't. No, I, that's not true. No, of course I do. I love women, guys. What was I going to be doing? I think I was going to go to a village. Okay, let's go do that. All right, let's go find it first. Oh, my goodness, guys. See, this is what I mean. I'm glad I'm being able to walk around now. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing, but, like, you know what? I, oh, oh, no, I thought that was iron. Okay, no. But I, this is more fun because it's, like, it's actually just going on on the screen versus, like, oh, I'm going to die. But, look, because I, you know, when I'm trying to build something, I get distracted and I'm, you know what I mean? I kind of, I never really get anything done but if i'm on uh, like a journey or a walk then you can just kind of zone out and then talk you know it's kind of like you're driving so anyways um but guys what do you think about that i mean it's it's an an idea 
maybe I all I'm saying is is without digital components and circuitry and stuff, that's I think our best option. Like it can be done. I if we that's that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe it's not, it, right. No, but Jesus say, says that you know without and by the way, guys, with no no more Logic Pro, no no more DAWs. So guess what? We're going back to sixteen track tape. I mean, let's let, let's start manufacturing those things again. That nobody makes them anymore. If I want to become my, I'm going to become a trillionaire, guys. Did I tell you that? And it's partly because I'm going to make a sixteen track uh, tape company, and I'm and a recorder company because there's they're, they don't exist anymore, and nobody nobody could buy them, and they're a million dollars on YouTube or eBay. Sorry, not YouTube, but I mean it's like so. So let's let's get back to the sixteen tracks, or even more. I mean, thirty-two track tape. Why not? We can do. We have the technology, guys. Because it's it's just we. When I say technology, we have all the techniques and knowledge that we didn't have in the seventies. Even though we um have to kind of go back to it technologically. You know what I mean? Hey guys, what do you do? <laughs> you okay? Cause, oh, I know what to do. I got it. I got to pound blocks. Because like I'm at the bottom of a mine and I can't get up because I don't have anything. So you just pound the blocks until you can... Well, this is what we'll do for the rest of the show, guys. I'll just have to get myself out of another mess. <laughs> guys, this is a kid's game. I just got myself into a mess. I can't get out of here until I finish pounding blocks enough to get me to the top of that. I just need a couple of them. That's not true. Uh-oh. It doesn't yield anything. Oh, shoot, guys. <laughs> guys, I'm in. I'm actually in Minecraft jail. I can't get out of here. I can't. I can't get out of here, guys. <laughs> this is an impossible situation, guys. It, wow. So I think, I think, guys... This, let me just pace back and forth, okay? So, guys, let me just say this, okay? Look, I think we've answered the question as to whether I'm going to become a Minecraft YouTuber. I could, I mean, I could always start over, but, I mean, the answer is no. Okay, guys, I'm going to be, I'm going to live a life that's out there, outside. I mean, because, why? Because I know I'm not going to get assassinated, and I really need vi vitamin D. I, I, like, have you seen the color of my skin? I need a tan. I need to be out there as, as much as possible. Okay? Uh, you know what I mean? Guys, we were meant to be outside. We were just designed for it. Even in the winter. Guys, the winter is awesome. I'm, I, I'm, that's my favorite season. I'm, I'm actually in Minecraft jail. This is a tremendous bummer. But it's okay. Let me see, though. No, I don't know. Because can I reach the dirt? You see, if I could reach some dirt, that would be one thing. But I can't. See, I can't. I can't. It, it doesn't reach. All right, hold on a second. No, I. There's no way, guys. In unless. Hold up. See, it's. Oh no, there is a way, guy. I just. It's just like it's gonna take a little while. All right, I got it. Just build a staircase, inside it, and slowly go up. Just punch it out. Huzzah, we got it. Okay, so, all right, so, okay, well, problem number two comes along. Now we can't, oh, great, now I'm going to drown. Okay, well, that was bad luck. Okay, but look, all right, we'll do it over here. Okay, so, oh, now we can't get, now I, no. <laughs> no, I got this, guys. Okay, here we go. So, here, here's the thing. I, I think that we can do this, you know, the giving up of technology thing like guys do we need do i need to play minecraft no but it's fun it is fun now i know it's fun all right but i think we're gonna have it for a little bit i think what i'm trying to say is we just got to prepare ourselves for one day when jesus kind of pulls the plug on it no no pun intended i mean you, you know what i mean it's we just that's it we just got to psychologically prepare ourselves that this drug we created for ourselves turns out i mean Computers are so cool, but remember they were so much neater in the 90s for some reason. Why? Because everything was new and, and neat, but we weren't really thinking about 
what the ben what the detrimental stuff was going to be we weren't thinking about it, it it's because the devil was blinding us he was saying oh these magical machines like the bill gates movie jobs or, or the bill bill job no bill jobs no steve jobs steve jobs movie he it was it was they were talking about how it's like you know yeah we're, we're calling it a bicycle for the brain and it, the, the, like a computer, the Macintosh. It's um, yeah, no, and I agree with that. It is. It's it's a uh, right because I think there was a scene in the movie where they were saying how humans. I, I don't I don't know if this is true or not, but are are the least efficient animal like in the way we walk versus all the calories we burn to do that. Um, for whatever reason that is, I don't know. But it. it but the point is is. Once you once you give a human a bike, it makes it it makes the human the most efficient. I get I don't even know if that's true or if they just wrote that and I don't know. But um, but a computer makes it so that you it's like a, a bicycle for your brain. And I, my thing is, I I hear you with that, but it and it is. But I mean my but is that gonna help you get to heaven? a bicycle for your brain i don't even have a bicycle guy like jesus took away my bicycle i mean and so i can only imagine what his opinion on it on a bicycle for the brain is you know what i mean because like, it's about your your inner it's your spirit and your your heart not it's not your brain that gets you to heaven so that is where silicon valley goes wrong i believe they don't, uh, they don't want to, they just, it's, what is it? It's too girly, but they, but then you guys kind of worship women. So I, well, I don't know where we're, it's weird, isn't it? Weird. It's weird, guys. Super weird. How talking about this heartfelt stuff is girly, but yet you guys, the reason Silicon Valley is in the place that it is in, and you guys are a uh, sourpuss right now is because of women that did this to you and you that you know and led you down the wrong road and okay but we we love them still like it's it's but the point is guys and i'm not giving you guys a hard time i i, I would have fallen for it too i remember ariana garthier gothier or ariana it's she she's ariana so i'm talking to ariana grandy and so I, I always have a hard time. I always call her Ariana. Like as if there's an I after the A in her name at the beginning. Like Ariana. No. But it's not it. It's Ariane Grandy. Okay. So so Ariana. That's why I'm calling her Ariane. Or what am I saying? I don't know. Whatever. So Ariana Gauthier. I was thinking about this the other day. I'm like, why do I kind of distrust women so much? And it's because of this. Sorry to put this on you, Ariane. Ariana. Ariane, <laughs> sorry. Okay, Ariane Goth Gothier. She, I used to work with her at Panera. Courtney knows her, and she. Well, you know, there there was this. So there was a party, right, guys? Like she was at a party, or she was her her and her, and her friend were, were at a party. They're hosting a party, and by the way, they were eighteen. Hosting a party is getting a like two thirty racks of beer. There's nothing involved. Okay, it's just you get right, but they needed the beer part, and uh, right, Ariana knows that I kind of had a thing for her. Right, Ariana was was cute, and I thought right, so she abused that. I shouldn't have said cute, right, because you you guys and gals don't like that. I thought she was attractive. I gotta kind of change that because it it's kind of we're I, I gotta I'll stop using that stuff because it's like um I just feel like it's just it's. I want to move on from that kind of language because it opens up it opens up that part of our brains where it's like oh he's sexually attracted to me now so i i know ariana i'm not but i found you attractive does that make sense like it's just like i'm not i don't want to have sex with you i want i just find you attractive from afar does that make sense and that that's true that's kind of how i saw ariana but she thought that i wanted to and sorry, I know maybe we should be talking about this, but I'm talking about this anyway. All right, who cares? Who cares? It's right. This is Minecraft. 
for adults. It's, this is Minecraft for adults, but kids can listen. Is this iron? No. Is that? I don't know. Yeah, is it? I think so. Okay, whatever. I can't get it, right? I could punch it, but it wouldn't do anything. Okay, anyways. Um, so, I will just keep going with the staircase. Um, so, Ariana was like, hey, Jeff, you know, she there was this party, right? And she was hosting it. And she needed, but she needed beer. She was too young to go buy it herself, but she couldn't find anyone to do it. So what did she do? She called me. Well, last right, so she you abused the fact, right? And then what, what did she do? She called me. It was like, hey, Jeff. Like, get, doing that thing where it's like, hey, Jeff, you do this for me. Maybe you'll get, like, it, of course. And she goes, Jeff, I want to hook up with you. And then she, she said something like that. I was like, oh, Okay, then. And then I went and bought the beer like an idiot. And then it basically, Ariana's the reason I don't trust women anymore. That's, that was it. That's all it took. And, uh, and uh, yeah. Well, other women have also helped. But at the time, that was kind of the... That, it, it took about two seconds after I said... After I handed her the beer. Uh, oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, Ariana abused me for this. I was like, oh, well, tomorrow's going to be awkward at work, huh? Yeah, but Jeff, we're making sandwiches, so don't worry about it. There's no, no loss of reputation. Like, you can't do any worse anyway. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Panera was fun. I, I Guys, I'm lost. I'm lost. I don't know where I'm going. Just keep going up. We're going to keep... There it is. Okay. Great. All right, so anyways... So, Ariana, you're the reason uh, I don't trust women. You started it, is what I'm trying to say. But that's okay. You know? And I... I, th I think that Ariana... She's probably laughing. I know. Who cares? I don't care. It, but Like, I'm not mad at her about it. It's like, it's my fault. But it's like, that's the thing, is we... we, we you got to remember that women are going to test. They test us, guys. Like, they, they, they're they so annoying. They're so annoying. But they're God's. What, they, what women are are God's uh, reminder why you don't want to go to hell. Like, it's that at, all the time. No, I'm just kidding. Hey. Hey. Just kidding. It's No, it's, she's, it's, she's like a catfish. Women are like a like catfish. They're, they're, they're there to keep you on your toes. You know what I mean? And, um, hey, Pete, I got to tell you something. Because Pete, Pete's got to, he's, P Pete, we got to, he, he's, I'm worried he's starting to want to join the dark side now again. Because he's like, man, I'm, I, how am I going to live with myself, you know, next to Jeff? Uh, you know, and after I did everything, Pete, I don't care. You're forgetting that. I don't, I stopped you caring. All we have to do, Pete, is go to the meat house. Again, that is a uh, butcher, not what people might probably be thinking. And they had to change it to Avon Prime Meats because of that exact reason. People were making way too many jokes. And uh, the police were, were showing up there a little too often. Oh, sorry. I thought this was a... Uh, sir, it's a butcher. Uh, never mind. I got to go. <laughs> butcher shop. Okay, sorry. I need to turn around. And he slips on the way out, you know. Um, <laughs> the police officer slips, guys. I won't tell you why. Anyway, the, no, 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 no. They're the best. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding with the cops. We love them. All right, all right, all right. I love the cops. Just joking, guys. All right, anyways. Okay, you guys threw out all of the... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. You threw it all out, though. I'm proud of you. All right, good. Okay, good. Everyone has a sense of humor. This is great. Okay, so now... Right, there's my house. So, anyways, um, where was I? I forgot what I was talking about, you guys. But you guys, you know what? At a certain point, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't because I'm gonna listen to this back and realize I shouldn't have done this high. Because I, guys, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm doing okay when I'm high. But you know what? I was thinking about this. I was like, you know what? Being high is one of those things where. It's you, it'll fool you into thinking you're doing a good job, and then you listen to it back, it's like, whoa, I'm talking really slow. And I don't remember talking slow. 
Because when I'm sober, I talk like a mile a minute. But when I'm high, I talk slower. I think I'm just maybe... You know what it is, guys? I might just be more impatient when I'm sober. I think that just all around, that's what it is. I I, I really do. So it, it, it even comes across in my speech. I'm more like neurotic, you know? Um, Craig, he called me neurotic. He's not wrong. I was. So in that way, Craig kind of helped me in that. Like, Craig is a good guy. That's why I like Craig. He's, he's honest with you. He is. He's Man, is he up front with you. It's, he's good in that way. All right, Craig, you're you're cool. But just, just don't take 10%. Don't take any percent from Corey. Stop doing that. Stop it. Stop. No, no percentages from dads for dads. All right, none of that. You're not their manager. You're their dad. Like, what do you can you imagine? Guys, Jesus is my dad. So, can you imagine him taking 10% of anything I'm doing? No. Of course not. So, it's what I mean, Craig. Like, no, this looks terrible. I'm taking this away. It turns into a Barbie house. Um, so, I... You know what I mean? It, okay, and I'm also taking this away. This isn't the 1980s, like, vaporwave. Like, stop it. All right? Okay. Uh, all right, guys. You know what? That was fun. I, 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 let's make concrete. Oh, Jeff, you need to, you owe us concrete. Guys, I don't owe you anything, but I'll do it anyway. All right, let's do, let's do it. Um, here we go. Um, whoa. Oh, shoot. You know what? Did I lose all that stuff? Nope. Here it is. Yeah, I said, I, I died and I lost everything. It's okay. Guys, I'll just, you know what? I'll just chalk it up to Minecraft life, just like my own life where I lost everything as well. It's okay, guys. It's okay. You can always buy. Like, when I move out of here and, like... It, oh, yeah, I was going to say. The police can use the tow trucks to to haul things. Because I really need some help hauling stuff out of here. Because, realistically, I got to get out of this house. I mean, I'll stay here if Jesus wants me here. But, honestly, I, you want me to stay here, guys? You, oh, yeah? Okay. All right. Okay, I believe you. I believe that. And you're not just being... Uh, you know, you're not you're not just like pulling my leg out there, huh? Okay, you're gonna be nice to me, guys. The ladies next door and across the street and everywhere were the cookies good? Yes, they were. They were delicious. No, I didn't make them. They were from a, a uh, you know, one of those uh, sausage-looking things. So I was like, uh oh, did I get her sausage by accident? No. That would have been that would have been incredibly inappropriate, and uh, believe me, it would have ended a marriage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like believe me, these ladies are not mad at me. Like they're the only reason they're giving me any attention is because they're mad at me. That they, again, the guys, this 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 is why. This is my my mom. Uh, okay, look, can I just I I gotta say this, ladies, we just gotta grow up and just realize like our uh, the beauty years and the wonderful years when everything got paid for by random guys are over. It's over. You know. You know. All right? It's just... I know. It's fun. Boy, do, do attractive women have the time of their lives in, the, in their 20s. I can only imagine that kind of attention and love and oh my goodness. It's... Uh, it must just be great. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's not that great. It's, okay, Jeff. Okay. Thanks. But it's it's actually exhausting and it's kind of freaky right because it's like you don't know who's around the corner i understand but you know wearing uh you know a, a skirt that's below the knees by four four inches w will help a lot is what i'm trying to say out there okay that 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 will help a whole lot that's what i'm saying okay ladies we know what i'm talking about okay great uh so anyways um look Okay, so I what I would say is, okay, guys, this looks atrocious. It's Jeff. This looks like an entryway to a 1986 nightclub at that in Miami. That okay, I'm trying to come up with some super specific thing without talking about the cocaine and the hookers and the you know the GTA Vice City stuff. So we're gonna have to just turn around. Okay, just for, we gotta remember that the game is fun. But they had to, they didn't allow children in the game. Like, you're not allowed, like, you're not allowed. They, they weren't able to put children in the game because that would be illegal to put them in a game. But, well, I mean, it's also illegal to kill adults, though. So that's, I don't know, I'm confused about all that stuff. Um, but we know who's not 
molesting children is Rockstar Games. I mean, that is a low bar, but I mean, we, we, that is, they're thinking about the kids though. With that, that, I do appreciate that, you know, and, and, uh, uh, again, Rockstar Games, are we raping employees? No, Jeff, we're worried about GTA 6. I'm excited about it. I am. Okay. And, uh, that's good. They're busy working LinkedIn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, that, so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Let's be nice. Let's be nice. Let's be nice, but not too nice because otherwise they're going to start raping employees again. Is that a dolphin? <laughs> Is that a dolphin, guys? That's adorable. What's up, buddy? Hey. And now we have to go diving into kelp. Hey. So what? It, so what? So, okay. So how do I grab onto it? Can you do that? Or is that animal abuse when we do that stuff? Like, the do dolphins are smart, guys. Like, it's like, a, <laughs> you imagine the opposite, like a dolphin, like, hopping on your back, like, hey. Like, what? <laughs> like, it, it, like, it's an excursion for the dolphins, like, when they, are, when they're on cruises, you know? Like, <laughs> it's like, the excursion, and then you jump on, <laughs> you jump on a human's back. And, uh, it's like, hey! Like, he... <laughs> they, like, the excursions on the cruises, guys. It's like, hey, come for the animal abuse. It's like, and then you hop on a dolphin or something. <laughs> like, just leave them alone. Like, how about, how about scuba diving? How about, let's just do the scuba diving, okay? Stop. Not every- it, just because they look like they're smiling, it doesn't mean that they are, okay? <laughs> okay? Alright. Uh, okay. Let's be nice to dolphins out there. Alright, great guys, thank you. And... You know what, I'm just gonna call it a Yahtzee out there, because this does look a little too vaporwave to me, for me. I mean... I'm trying to bring back the 90s, guys, not the 80s, okay? So, I think we're in the wrong decade with all this. Well, we gotta get more creative than the pink. I think it's, it would look good if we got a... I mean, it, I know you're gonna say, what, white, Jeff? Yes, guys, duh, obviously. Like, how about white in the middle here? Like, let's punch this out, okay? It's like, something, something different than what we're looking at. Because this is just too much pink, all right? All right, let's, let's see. Uh, guys, like, it's not, I'm not on an, I'm not on cocaine, so pink... Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm going to have a hard time saying this looks good. For whatever reason, cocaine makes it, you're like, uh, yeah, like magenta, like printer colors. You like printer colors when you're on cocaine. Like cyan and, and magenta and yellow. You, what is that? Uh, that defined the 80s is printer colors. <laughs> like the inkjet, like yellow. Like, guys, okay. I know, but it's like, Jeff, whatever, it was the theme of the... Yeah, but everywhere, like, you're supposed to have some variety, not neon signs, whatever. Okay. I'll forgive it. This looks worse, guys. It made it look worse. All right, uh, let's just leave it here, guys. No, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I, I can't do any more Minecraft. All right, we'll do more Minecraft. All right. All right, let's go. Jesus is like, Jeff, you got to do more Minecraft. It's like, Jesus, that is the, I mean, I was just thinking, I mean, it's like, who, how many dads are saying that? Usually it's like, Jeff, go to bed, no more Minecraft. No, he wants me to stay up and do more Minecraft. I know, it's pretty cool. All right, this is actually looking better. See, there was too much pink here, you know? It's, okay, so we can't have too much pink. Although I do have two pink shirts. Is that too much pink? Nah. That's good. That's the right, right amount of pink, I think. <clears throat> All right. Oh, man. Hey, can I just say out there, I really appreciate... Uh, what, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. So, you know how you all you guys cough, you know, at me very passive-aggressively because you think I smoke too much? Um, well, I mean, I... Yeah, you're not wrong. I do smoke a lot. I mean, I'm not gonna write and uh but look guys, can you just leave me alone about it? Like it's kinda like it's 
it's obvious that you it's it's obvious that the my marijuana consumption is not your main concern because if if you're still coughing at me when uh we have pedophiles out there right and you're yet you're still worried about me and my marijuana habit like your your defense like every time you cough you're like you're you're talking you're you're saying how much you love to rape kids that that's that's the way i see it is that me is that like a little too blunt for you guys out there all right well it's kind of it's kind of the way i see it so i'm just telling you the truth so 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 the, there's a couple of people that coughed today and i'm like oh okay I, well i know why they don't like me is cuz i'm not 8 years old okay so so that so that's that that solves that mystery but the other mystery is well, what do we do about this problem? And then, like, remember Jesus, um, <laughs> I remember Jesus, he had me buy, my great-grandmother had me buy, uh, cough medicine, like NyQuil and DayQuil, you know, one of those, like, dual packs, the combo pack, um, and, well, I'm like, okay, so, we'll, I think this is the perfect time to use it, is go leave it, go wait for someone to cough, We'll go walk down the street, go wait for the first person to cough, and then go figure out where they live, and then go drop off the cough medicine at their front door. And that's exactly what I did. Which house, Jeff? I won't say. That's giving away private information. These are private citizens. Why would I ever give an, uh, an address out like that? Why would I ever give an address out of the of the person who... who coughs at me as, in concern for my consumption of marijuana that by the way guys a month ago wh what were they saying this is our only concern about jeff is his marijuana intake this is it. it it was not it it was not it it was the fact that you're a pedophile and you love raping kids <laughs> and you're you didn't want to get caught so it had nothing to do with marijuana and you guys knew that and then you guys slowly started getting ex exposed for this and uh it, it just, it just, guys, it, this, this whole thing is so funny. You, you, I'm telling you, the, the, the house that I dropped it off at, you guys, I just say it, it's 47, 427 Lakeview Way. It, 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 down the street a little bit. I just waited for the fir first person to cough, and I'm like, all right, I'm dropping, off, I'm dropping it off there. And I did. I, I did that tonight. And, I'm, you know, I, it, it felt good, but I'm going to feel kind of bad about it tomorrow, probably. But probably not, because they kind of deserve it, you know, but it's okay. But uh, I'm just I'm glad I'm not them. So are a lot of people because boy, that's not a good legacy. But that's okay. All right. But anyways, uh, so I think that'll be the end of the coughing. So thank you, everybody. I know I'm getting I'm getting a standing ovation. Everybody, you're welcome. I know As, this whole thing is cool, huh? Jesus, thanks. Like I I you know I, I guys really don't stop looking at me as the guy who's doing this. I'm not. I'm just following orders. I'm just gonna bumbling around playing a kid's game and we're having fun all right so come on all right i still gotta find that village you guys where is it i don't know let's go hang out with the bee don't okay the thing is huge it'll kill you <laughs> it stings you all right uh okay so you know what see guys maybe i was you know i i i really believe in that analog thing with the with a laser i just i'm trying to figure out how we're gonna do how we're gonna do it technically like I, it's just gonna be so cool will there be a, so a sonic difference i i bet you there will be i bet you jesus loves me that much where he would make it so that there is a sonic improvement and it will be an improvement it'll be true to the source because it is a continuous wave there is no need for analog to digital transformation none because the thing with analog to digital trans uh translations is that it, it's they're not all equal all of the adax are not equal and it were the digital sorry the the dacs digital to analog converters like each cd player needs a digital to analog converter and some cd players are, are like 20 bucks and like those are not good analog digital to analog converters so it's just a waste. It's an unnecessary middleman step that we can work around with this limitation of no digital components. We can do it, I think. Um, a whole new medium. You know what I mean? It'll just be great. I'm telling you guys, it's this is the future. And uh, 
We're going to be so much happier. So, in all honesty, is this uh, this Minecraft simulation here? I it represents. I mean, it represents something. I don't know what it represents, but it, it, the 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 begin the beginning. It, that's what it represents. The beginning, like it literally, a new world will be created. It, it this, despite the fact that it that's the last thing that looks like is going to happen. I, I it looks like the place is too far gone. How are we going to honestly get everyone on board with all this? Well, it's going to happen. Not through anything I do. I mean, I might have a hand in it, but so will you guys. I was just, guys, I'm, I'm not the, I'm not that special. I'm just a, a normal guy who just practiced drums a lot. And Jesus set him, set him, you just, he just set me up to be able to do, do all this. And I'm a little snarky. I get the sarcasm. I get my sense of humor. A lot of it comes from my aunt Pat. And that's why I want to talk. I just want to say how awesome my Aunt Pat is. I I, I don't want to embarrass her. She's probably a little embarrassed. And this is probably the most humiliating thing. It is. Of course it is, right? But the but the thing is, is you know what? It, I, my Aunt Pat is great, and my Uncle Tom is, is great, too. I, I want to talk about him as well, because he's the, you know, the victim in this. And, uh... What's, what's that? Is that a stage, guys? Are we looking at a stage? What is that? What on earth is that over there? Oh, iron, nice. All right, we let's go check this out. What is this? But anyway, no, I just want to say my aunt Pat and my uncle Tom. I will say thank. I want to say thank you so much for allowing me to stay at your house last September. I did feel I felt super uncomfortable there, but you did make me really nice. You you were so nice to me. I, I felt uncomfortable because. You know, I mean, there, there's my mom and my dad trying to convince you guys that I'm evil and I'm a bad guy. And I have like, I I, uh, I have bipolar and Jeff is, he's off again. He's off his medication. It's like, so, so it affected you guys and I felt it. And it was just, I was super sad that you were listening to my dad and not, not me. I mean, the guy doesn't love me at all, obviously. And I was just sad you guys didn't detect that. Um... So, oh, guys, this looks like the vortex to hell, doesn't it? It looks like, wow, how ironic, huh? So, anyways, I mean, I'm talking to my, I mean, I'm just talking to my aunt and uncle. Like, it just, it just hurt my feelings. You guys were great. You know, we had fun going to church. And remember, we, 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 um, we got donuts and we got all kinds of stuff. And, and my aunt Pat baked uh, all kinds of great stuff. And Uncle Ty, like I was staying there was heaven on earth for me a year ago. And I want to say thank you so much because I was away from, well, my, my, my mom and my dad, to be honest with you. And it was just so nice to be there. And I want to say thank you. And, and I love my mom. That's why I'm so sad about all this. But it was such a relief. And I want to say thank you. All right, so, okay, so, so basically, okay, this, this is obviously signal something, I and mean, because this is the vortex to hell, that, I mean, that's what this whole thing represents, how amazing God is, and he's paying attention, he's real, and he cares a whole lot, and he's big on justice, as you can see, I mean, <laughs> guys, this whole thing was so spectacular, I mean, it's unbelievable, right, so, Okay, I, I don't even know what to say other than, I mean, I'm, yeah, hasta la vista, baby, <laughs> from Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> that, just, that just popped in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, but Aunt Pat, you did that. Me, you, you going through your humiliation here was the final stake in the heart of the devil he's gone well there is no heart in the devil but the stake in the empty chest cavity of the devil so he's dead he will be very shortly and he's gonna throw a fit right and the, the, he's gonna destroy the world he's gonna try to do all kinds of stuff he's got a little bit of time left but not much right the seven year tribulation that's probably coming up pretty soon the devil's probably pretty angry you know what I mean so he's, he's just gonna throw a fit right the antichrist is coming out 
we have AI on the horizon, right guys? All the all the goodness and joy and happiness that's going to come from artificial intelligence, guys. Hey guys, how much how much uh joy and happiness? Well, I will say I can imagine it's addicting. Like, oh, what's the AI going to how the how's the AI going to help me cheat today? You know, like I, I, I AI, write another thank you letter to my mom. Right? Yeah, right. Tell my mom how much I love her. Like, it's like a ghost writer and it's for your own parents. Like, okay, wow. That's not the society Jesus, like, was hoping for. You know what I mean? Like, we got it. Like, I, so, so the, so the people that, um, you know, are, are, well, they can't wait for AI. I hear you. It's fun and cool. I, I, I'm on board with it and half of me really wants to go learn about it and stuff but it's I just I can only imagine that it's just oh my goodness what like where is it going to be in 10 years and the answer is it we it, we would have it I don't know guys I don't, I don't really I don't even want to know so I guess the answer is no more computers I guess that's it sadly all right I know so, I guess I'm going to walk into this lava and just die. Here we go. I'm just going to die. Is that how we do this? Yeah, just die. I'm going to die because I'm just committing suicide in Minecraft. And this is what I don't want for eternity. Okay, Jeff S789 tried to swim in lava. I died. Okay, guys. That's everything. Hey guys, if this is what you want, I'm just talking to the devil people. Hey guys, if this is what you want, I'm like we're looking at the rest of your eternity right here. You died. Like this is what Jesus is gonna put in front of you. Score, score of zero, and your name here tried to swim in the lava. And you there, but the problem is, is there's no buttons below. It's just you died, and you tried to you're trying to swim in lava, and your score will be a zero. And you get to look at this. Oh, and you're on fire for eternity. Like, is that what you want, honestly? Because I'm too mean to you guys. I'm trying to get you out of this place. Look at this. On fire, your score is zero. <laughs> you know, like, you're on fire and you're embarrassed. Like, it's that's a, like usually those two emotions don't come together. But <laughs> it will in hell, okay? So, what I'm trying to say, guys, is don't die and stop trying to swim in lava and let's like you know let's 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 at least get on the scoreboard yeah, let's get on the scoreboard can we do something nice for someone tomorrow not me don't do anything nice for me go do nice something nice for your neighbor your neighbor except my neighbors don't do anything nice for me but do do something my neighbors should do do something nice for each other and then don't do anything nice for me guys do something nice for somebody else other than me that's all I'm going to say. Jesus, I, he has it. Jesus said, I'm going to get a million dollars somehow, like, like shortly. Like that, that amount will be in my bank account shortly. A million dollars. That's what he said. Hey, I could be a millionaire. All right. I'm not quite at Russ Hanneman level, but I mean, I'll get there. Okay. I just, again, I got to get rid, rid of my car that has doors that go like this and not like this. Okay. So, again, guys, let's stay out of hell. And, uh, because again, there, there is, are you sure you want to quit? Yes, I would like to get out of hell. Thank you. Thank you, Microsoft. Okay. Saving world. <laughs> yeah, I am. Quit the game. Done. <laughs>